I'm gonna go over 10 ways through which you can literally break Scratch. From spiky lag to white screens and even the blue screen of death. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. First, we're starting simple. Open the offline Scratch editor, go to my blocks and then create a new one. Call this whatever you want and then click OK. Now just drag the block definition a bit and then hit backspace. Boom, the block definition is gone but we can still use its implementation. This literally makes zero sense so we've successfully broken Scratch. Next on the list is another way to crash Scratch using custom blocks. Once again, go to my blocks and make a new one. I'll call this run and this is quite important, click the box which says run without screen refresh. Ok, we have the function definition here, just throw in the run implementation once again. Now this in itself isn't bad, calling the function within its own definition is called recursion and it does have a wide range of uses. Nonetheless, in this case, it literally makes zero sense as you will soon see. So, when the green flag is clicked, use the run function and that's it. Test the code out and patiently wait because this could take a few seconds. And there you go, the white screen of death. We have successfully crashed Scratch. At number 3, we have infinitely long variables. This is quite simple to do and will cause Scratch to break once again. Throw in a when green flag is clicked, then go to variables and I'll just use the my variable variable. Set this to a single value, say A. After this, you need a forever loop and each time, just set my variable to the joint value of itself and itself. Essentially, this will concatenate the variable with itself each time. The variable would become A, then 2As, then 4As, then 8As, and so on closer and closer to infinity. Now hit the green flag and wait for a few seconds. Try showing the variable and you will see Scratch crumble against the weight of this code. At number 4, we have the backslash B error. To get this, grab a C block from the looks category, although many of the other blocks would suffice too. Now just add a backslash B within it. This may seem extremely innocent, but it will literally destroy your project. Save the project and then try opening it and wow, this project literally could not load. This happens because Scratch interprets this as a break in its own source code and this ends up corrupting it. Just be very careful with this command with your big projects because this can be really painful when it happens accidentally. Next up, we have the text file. Open notepad, type something random and then save the file. Now go to the file's address, then its properties and change the extension to .sb3. Alright, now try opening it and boom. Like the previous case, the project cannot load. Next on the list is the percentage %8 glitch. To emulate this, go to the My Blocks tab and then create a block. Just call this percentage %8 and then try adding a boolean input. Wait, what? The whole thing literally just disappeared? If you try clicking OK, nothing happens. And if you cancel this and look at the menu on your left, everything is a total mess. Now, you can get this back to normalcy by clicking on another tab and then back, but this is still a pretty cool way to break Scratch. For the next way, create a block as usual and call this percentage %n. Add a boolean input and already things are breaking, but it's going to get a lot worse. Add a label and for some reason this text shows at the top left. Anyway, you can leave that with whatever is in by default and then click OK. And look at that, that beautiful blue screen of death. I'm going to call this a success. For the next one on the list, you need to open your browser to a random one of your projects. Refresh the page and everything is good, right? Well, maybe not. Try adding a zero to the scratch project number. You'd think this makes no difference, but well, when you load the page, we once again get that lovely blue screen. I'm not sure myself as to what's happening here. If anyone does know, then please comment down below. We are currently close to the end and I've saved the best for the last. This is the golden percentage 15 glitch. Follow along step by step. First, open your browser and go to the official Scratch website. Now, search percentage 15. The results of this are not important. What matters is the tiny square on the search bar. Copy this and then get onto Scratch. 
Like previously, create a custom block and then paste the square for its label. Click OK and bam, we get that incredible red hacked block. This took me quite a while to figure out and it's pretty cool playing around with this with the scratch add-ons. However, while this red block is cool, what's even cooler is completely wrecking the left window. Go into the sounds tab and then paste the very same block into the default sound. Everything seems normal but when you open the code tab, you literally realize that every other option is missing. I mean, where on earth is events, controls, variables and the rest? Well, we can even go a bit further than this. Now there are three options and we can make that two. Go to the costumes tab and rename all the costumes to this square. Are you ready? Now go back to the code tab and the sound has disappeared as well. This has to be one of the most mind blowing ways that I've ever seen to break scratch and it is indeed so awesome. And there you have it. 10 ways to destroy and break scratch. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe and until next time, peace out.